This rocket launcher holds eight rockets at a time, and there are a ton of other weapons that are really strong, unique, and worth grinding for, like Retrofit Escapade. This machine gun gets fourth times the charm, so you can shoot hundreds of rounds without ever reloading, and it also gets target lock, which increases your damage the longer you shoot it. Perfect for big bosses and great for ad clear too. And as always, if you disagree with anything on the list, I do not care. Unending Tempest is the best SMG for stasis builds, because it gets Demolitionist and Headstone. This perk combo gives you tons of grenade energy from kills, and allows you to play off subclass fragments for even more grenade energy. Another weapon with this exact same role is Horror Story. This is an auto rifle, so it's more useful in higher end content, where you can't really get close to enemies with an SMG. One of the best primary weapons in Destiny 2 is Funnel Web. This is the modern recluse, not as powerful as its grandpa, but still really strong, especially if you get a roll with subsistence and adrenaline junkie to reload itself and get a damage buff after every single kill. But don't worry if you don't have that, because a good alternative is Callus Mini Tool. This is a solar SMG that gets incandescent, which catches people on fire after kills. This is great for ad clear and enables some really good solar builds when paired with a few aspects and fragments. Although this isn't specific to Callus Mini Tool. There are a ton of other weapons that get this perk, so you may want something like Dring, which is an excellent sidearm with Incandescent and Wellspring. The BXR Battle Rifle is a Pulse Rifle with Incandescent and Demolitionist. The pre Astanax Bow gets Incandescent with Archer's Tempo. Zaouli's Bane gets Incandescent and Explosive Payload, which is really satisfying. And Amit is an Auto Rifle with Incandescent that's extremely easy to get. Volt Shot is a perk where you get a kill, reload, then your next shot will apply Jolt to your target. This basically means Chain Lightning that will also activate certain fragments on Arc subclasses. This is obviously very strong, so you'll definitely want this on a few weapons. My favorite weapon with this is the Ikelos SMG, which also gets Feeding Frenzy to quickly reload and activate Volt Shot, which allows you to shred through enemies. You can also get this roll on Brigand's Law, which is a full auto sidearm that will be crazy next season since Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves is getting a buff. Or, if you prefer to keep your distance, you can also go with Tarnished Metal, which also gets Demolitionist for faster art grenades. Banner of War Titan is the best build in the entire game, but in order to use it, you'll need to watch this. This video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped offers the best in men's grooming and hygiene with their trimmers, hygiene formulations, premium boxers, and more. They have everything a man could need, both upstairs and downstairs. And Manscaped recently launched a beard trimmer with the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, and this thing is amazing. The Beard Hedger is super powerful, allowing it to cut through the toughest of hair in a single stroke. And this comes with a wheel that allows you to easily adjust the cutting length using only one guard. It's also waterproof, cordless, and rechargeable, so you can trim in the shower to save time and create less mess. Manscaped also offers dermatologist-tested beard care products to help you grow and nourish a magnificent beard, like their beard shampoo and conditioner, as well as beard oil and beard balm. And when you order the kit, you'll also receive a beard brush, beard comb, and even beard scissors. Everything you could possibly need. If you want to join the 9 million men worldwide who use Manscaped, go to manscaped.com and use code MARSHIX for 20% off at checkout. That's 20% off plus free international shipping with code MARSHIX at manscaped.com. Try it out, I know you'll love it. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Banner of War Titan is the best build in the entire game. But in order to use it, you'll need a shotgun with 1-2 punch to increase your melee damage. My favorite shotgun for this is Swordbreaker because it's a lightweight frame so you can run around faster, and it's also strand to activate things like Monochromatic Maestro. But realistically, any shotgun with 1-2 punch will get the job done. Eager Edge is a perk for swords that makes you go really fast, so it's always nice to have one of these on standby. You can only get this on Half Truths and the other half. Both of these are great, but the purple sword is slightly better because Eager Edge is in the first column, which means you can also use a damage perk in the second column. Now you just throw this on and you'll be faster than me on a Tuesday night. Rufus's Fury is definitely the best strand auto for PvE. It gets reconstruction to steadily reload the magazine up to double capacity and target lock for a solid damage buff. Or if you're running a strand build, it also gets Demolitionist and Hatchling for some fun combos. Choclip is a really strong perk that allows you to slow and eventually freeze enemies as you shoot them. This can be used for crowd control and a way to stun Overload and Unstoppable Champions, so you'll definitely want a couple weapons with this perk. The best fusion rifle with Choclip is definitely Riptide. You need to shoot 3 shots in order to freeze an enemy, and since this is a rapid fire frame, you can do that a lot faster with this compared to other fusions. 
It also gets auto loading holster, so you never have to worry about not having chill clip. Another amazing weapon with chill clip is Lingering Dread. This activates chill clip with every single shot, and it also gets disorienting grenades to completely prevent enemies from shooting you. Not only will this blind everything, but it will also slow them, which stuns overload champions. This is a very nice option to have for Nightfalls. Now, it can be a little difficult to actually get Lingering Dread. I don't even have one. So a good alternative is Pardon Our Dust. It does not get Chill Clip, but it can be crafted, which means you can guarantee yourself disorienting grenades, enhanced auto-loading, and Vorpal Weapon. And it's still really good in high-end content. Commemoration is one of the best ad-clearing weapons in the game. This machine gun gets reconstruction for a massive magazine that reloads itself over time. And Killing Tally, which is a 30% damage buff after getting 3 kills, so this shreds through just about everything. Linear Fusion Rifles are still pretty good damage options, and there are two of these worth grinding for. First is Taipan. The crafted version is basically given to you for free through a quest, so you can easily get a roll with Triple Tap and a damage perk to deal some massive damage while still being very ammo efficient. The other linear to look for is Briar's Contempt. This is a burst fire linear that gets reconstruction as well as surrounded, the highest damage perk available on linears. It's a little situational, but if you can activate surrounded, it is the best legendary linear in the entire game. Warden's Law is a two round burst hand cannon, and because of that, it deals some crazy damage when paired with Lucky Pants. Because this shoots two rounds at a time, you'll max out Lucky Pants in only five shots. If you enjoy using hand cannons that can melt bosses, get a Warden's Law with 4th times the charm and Vorpal Weapon. If you like clicking one button and killing everything around you, well, you're definitely going to want a 4 Barons. This is a waveframe grenade launcher with Ambitious Assassin to hold 2 shots at once, and Chain Reaction to kill everything with 1 shot. Bequest is the hardest hitting sword in Destiny. By default, its impact is 10 points higher than any other sword, and it also gets access to Enhanced Surrounded for an easy to activate 41% buff. Pair it with Relentless Strikes and you can melt bosses with only light attacks. Another weapon that melts bosses is Cataphract. This is the only grenade launcher to get bait and switch for some crazy damage, and it gets things like auto loading holster and envious assassin, so you can shoot more, reload less. Target. Song of Your Ute is similar to Retrofit mentioned earlier, in that it gets a large magazine with either reconstruction or rewind rounds, and target lock for a damage perk that takes advantage of the massive magazine. Succession is my favorite sniper rifle ever made, besides Black Hammer. It gets reconstruction for 8 rounds at a time with a high impact sniper, which is unheard of, and it also gets Vorpal Weapon for extra damage against bosses. Doom of Chelchus is crazy. This scout rifle gets two almost passive damage buffs. It can get Explosive Payload or Vorpal in addition to things like Frenzy or a handful of other damage perks. So you can just sit back and kill everything with ease. I can't make a video like this without mentioning the most iconic hand cannon in Destiny. Fatebringer is a hand cannon that gets Explosive Payload and Firefly, so it can easily take out multiple enemies with each shot, and it just feels so good to use, even 9 years after its initial release. But there's actually another weapon that fills this role, and that is Aeus Luna. Instead of creating solar explosions, this creates stasis crystals that can also explode or be used for a variety of stasis builds. This sniper rifle can shoot over 60 rounds without reloading. To do this, you'll need a supremacy with 4th times the charm and rewind rounds. This will make it so you can shoot this over and over and over and over and over and over. Hollow Denial is an amazing trace rifle and the only trace rifle to get killing tally. One of the best damage perks for ad clear, as well as taking out majors. Pair this with lead from gold and another special weapon, and you'll have yourself a solid loadout. Buzzard. This sidearm is surprisingly good in PvE because it can max out most of its stats. If you can get one with Encore and Frenzy, you can get max stability, handling, and reload speed, double its range, and give it a 15% damage buff. This makes it feel really nice, as long as you're able to keep getting consistent kills. Shout out to my friend Port for telling me about this role, and sorry I stole all your luck. Twice. Loaded question. This gets overflow, so you'll never have to reload, because you literally can't, and it also gets reservoir burst to get a really powerful shot that makes enemies explode on death. This is supposed to be for only one shot, 
but with Overflow doubling the magazine, every shot above 6 will get this powerful burst. But if Loaded Question is too annoying to grind for, you can also go with Aramite. This does about the same thing, but instead of Overflow, it gets Envious Assassin to overfill the magazine with kills from your primary. Hothead is the best arc rocket launcher since he gets many great perks like field prep, auto-loading holster, explosive light, and even clown cartridge to get two rockets at a time. The best solar rocket is Apex Predator, which gets reconstruction to get two rockets, and bait and switch for one of the highest damage buffs in the game. But why stop at two rockets? Cold Comfort also gets bait and switch for massive damage, but this time it has Envious Assassin to get up to three rockets at a time just by getting kills with other weapons. But wait, you can get way more than three rockets. If you sacrifice some damage, you can get up to eight rockets at a time using Envious Assassin and Bipod. It takes a ton of rapid kills to get it going, but this is absolutely crazy. And you can get this exact same roll on Braytech Osprey, a void rocket that can easily take advantage of volatile rounds for even more explosions and more damage. And there's a trick you can do to get even more rockets for free. But you'll have to check out this video to see how. Click the video, click the video, click the video, click the video. I'm Marshix, by the way.